Good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are doing great. Today is Friday and you have a long weekend ahead, like Saturday and Sunday is off. So today is uh, the last day of uh, this week. So after this, we'll see you inshallah. I'll see you inshallah on Monday. So <clears throat> Let me share my screen with you. Okay, students, what we need to do is, first of all, we have to do this part, the C part, okay? Those who have done it, who has done this annotation? Qasim, who is Qasim? Let me see. Who has done this Haika Qasim? Who is Haika Qasim? Haika, shall I just put you in the waiting room? Shall I put you in the waiting room, Haika? That's really unprofessional really unprofessional. I'm really disappointed from you. Nobody will raise hand for anything. I will ask you to open up your page and workbook and everything. I will not answer any irrelevant question. Because whenever I ask when you raise hand when I ask you what is the problem you say, ma'am, which is the page number? So page number is 117 of your workbook. All of you come to page number 117 of your workbook. This is the page number. Okay. So girls, over here you see that, wait a minute. Over here you see that these are simple machines and tools and household items. So as I told you yesterday, simple machines are the machines um, that need force to make it work. And tools and household items are those ones which we use it in our houses, okay? So, we will start it with the doorknob. So, what is doorknob? Doorknob is a machine or tool and household item. Just keep in mind that the ones like ramp, screw, wedge, wheel and axle, lever, these all are machines. The rest of them are the tools and household items, or I would say the examples of different machines. Like when I talk about doorknob, or suppose um, when, I, when I talk about hammer, so hammer is an example of what? Example of lever, right? When we talk about light bulb, light bulb is an example of screw, I guess, right? When I talk about stairs, stairs is, a stairs is an example of ramp, right? So these are the tools which we use in our homes or um, somewhere else outside our houses. But machines are the ones which needs force to make it work. So doorknob, what is doorknob? Yes, anybody? Raise your hands, please. If you know the answer, raise your hand. Yes, Huria. Doorknob is a simple machine or tools and household item? Ma'am, doorknob is a tool and household item, and we use this to open a door. Yes, thank you. Okay, write down doors and door knob in the second column. 
Okay. Number third is hammer. Hammer is again a tool and household item. Okay. When we talk about the light bulb, again, light bulb is a tool and household item. We use it in our houses, in schools, in buildings, and in offices everywhere. Let's talk about ramp. Ramp is a machine, okay? Ramp is a simple machine. Screw is a simple machine. Stairs is a tool and household item. Wedge is a machine. And wheel and axle is a machine. Okay, so that's how you have to write down that simple machines, lever, ramp, screw, wedge, wheel and axle and tools are axe, doorknob, hammer, light bulb and stairs. So I'm sure you all have done it. I'm just giving you one more minute and then I'll move on to the next slide. Okay, students, so I'm moving on to the next slide now. Okay. Okay, as I told you this concept yesterday, and we have done this concept as well. Okay, so we have done this concept yesterday, as you all know. So we have done it, right? This one, two and either. So could anyone of you tell me? Because uh, boys have done this one today. So I just need to ask. Yes, Huria, we have done it yesterday, right? Yes, ma'am. We use two and uh, there is no didn't uh, like short words uh, over there. So we use two and we use either when there is a, a short, short words like didn't, can't, uh, uh, and uh, uh, okay. isn't like that. Okay, okay. Whose name is with Asif Dan Daniel? You need to rename yourself, Abigail. I, I guess it's you. It's you. You need to rename yourself, please. Because if you mark your present with Asif Daniel name, so you will not be marked present. Okay? So change your name, please. Thank you. Okay. So, students. Um, let me explain you one more time. As you know that we use this word to and either at the end of the sentences. Okay. Let me explain you one more time to make your concept more clearer. So we use to and either at the end of the sentences and there is um, a reason of using to or either. When the sentence is a positive sentence, there is no negativity in the sentence. So we use two at the end. As you see, a hammer is a lever. A bottle opener is a lever too. So you see that the sentence is a positive sentence. 
So that's why you used to at the end. But when the sentence is a negative sentence and it shows negativity, like you see, the wedge isn't a new invention. So isn't is the word which shows a statement is a negative statement. So you need to use either at the end then. The wedge isn't a new invention. The ramp isn't either. So you see that to and either both are used at the end of the sentence. But yes, the difference is to is used for the sentence, which is the positive one. And either is used for the negative statements, right? So uh, we have done this one as well, but I need to repeat. I climbed up the stairs. I did too, because the sentence is a positive sentence. I didn't do well on the test. I didn't either, because the sentence is a negative statement sentence. I loved that movie. I did too. So because we use to over here, because the sentence is a positive sentence. Okay, we have discussed these ones as well. I need a car too. I went to bed late yesterday too. I can drive a car too. I'm hungry too. I don't like cold weather either. So only in the last sentence you used the word either and rest of them with two because these all are positive statements. And the last one is not positive. It's a negative statement. Okay. So we were on this page, right? This is grammar in use. Just listen to me at once. Page number 120 of your workbook. Come to page number 120 of your workbook, all of you. And write down today's classwork day and date. But as you know that I've sta I started this one yesterday, so some of you are with yesterday's date. So that's fine, you don't need to change the date if the date is already mentioned on this page. But if date is not mentioned, then you have to write down the date, okay? So students, grammar in use. As I told you yesterday that the concept here, first of all, you need to understand affirmative statements and negative statements okay so affirmative statements are the statements which declare that the sentence is positive so you could either say affirmative statements are the statements which are positive statements okay and negative statements are the statements which are the opposite of positive statements like we would say the negative statements okay which has isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't, these kind of words will be used in these statements that show that these statements are the negative ones. Then I told you the concept of two or so, either or neither, okay? They both mean the same, but usage of these ones in the sentence is different. As I told you, when we use to or either in the sentence, we always use these ones at the end of the sentence. But when we use so or neither, we always use so and neither in between the two sentences. Okay, so you just need to keep in mind, we use to and either at the end of the sentences, but we use so and neither in between the two sentences. Let's have a look how it works. So you see, hammers and scissors are levers. Seesaw, seesaws are levers. So you see, 
hammers and scissors are levers seesaws are levers too so you use to at the end but when you will be using so in the sentence how would you say that hammers and scissors are levers then you will before starting the next sentence you will use so first so are seesaws so you will change the place of the words you see so seesaws are levers you will not say that you will say so are seesaws that means levers liver is the one which is common in both but the rest of the sentence is not common so you would use so are seesaws but you will not repeat livers again here okay but when you'll be using so in a sentence so next one is yes arshia arshia you raised hand is there any problem yes sundas Mom, I am not understanding about the so and so. Okay, let me let me explain Can you, you explain one. Again? Yes, I will. Don't worry, I will. You just need to understand this sundas that we use to and either as we have done it previously. We use these ones at the end of the sentence, but we use so and neither. in between the two sentences when the first sentence ends we use so and neither and then we continue with the second sentence as you see the example here hammers and scissors are levers yes who raised hand yes nazish ma'am hmm Can I leave the meeting? I'm not feeling well. I I'll do it on the GC. Okay, fine, Bitta. You can leave the meeting. No problem. Take good care okay. of yourself. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Yes, Arshia. Arshia, unmute yourself. Is there any problem? Mom? Yes. I didn't get this uh, one. Okay, I will explain you. That's what I'm saying. I'm explaining you. Okay. So, we use to and either at the end of the sentence and we use so and neither in between the two sentences. Now listen to me very carefully. But when you will do an exercise, you will be more clear, okay? please girls don't raise hands by saying to me again and again that we don't get this one i'm explaining you once again just listen to me now okay hammers and scissors are levers seesaws are levers too so you see that two is used at the end of the sentence but when you will be using so and these two statements are given to you hammers and scissors are levers seesaws are levers when this is given to you then how you will use so in the sentence listen to me now hammers and scissors are levers then you before starting the next sentence you will use so in the middle of two sentences so are seesaws so are seesaws okay as you see here i speak english i do too when you use to you use to at the end but when you use so how you will you use it i speak english then so do i so the statement placement of word is changed so do i okay so you i mean to say that the thing which you are talking about i would like to say the subject that will come at the end okay I speak English so do I so the placement is changed and so will be used in the middle of the two sentences same case with the negative as well when we use either we use either at the end like you see 
the wedge isn't a new invention the ramp isn't a new invention either but when you will be using neither how will you use neither the wedge isn't a new invention neither is the ramp okay neither already shows that it's not understand all of you that's why you will not use isn't neither already tells you that it's not it shows the negativity so that's why you use neither is the ramp these are the kind of statements we call them negative statements he didn't call he didn't call me she didn't either you see that either is used at the end but when you will be using neither you would say he didn't call me neither did she so you see the subject comes always in the end when you will be using neither subject is the one who you talk about so that will always come in the end okay now manahil what is the problem yes manahil Ma'am, कितने ट्रेड एंड क्लास एंड होने में? बेटा, is this the question to be asked? Did you raise hand to ask me this question? You just take your class. When the time will be over, I'll let you know. Don't you worry about it. Just listen to the conversation. Listen to the lecture, please. I thought you need to ask something about the topic, but you are asking me about the time. That is totally irrelevant at this point. Okay. So, girls, affirmative statements positive and negative statements negative. Okay. So, when you use either and to, we always use either and to at the end. But when we use so and neither. so and neither is always used in the middle of the two sentences okay yes huria ma'am i was saying that how would we know we have to write word to so and all that stuff how would we know we have to write this and they will they will ask you to write they will ask you that you have to use so and neither in these sentences and then you have to apply the rule as i have told you that you have to use so and neither in the middle of the two sentences but when they will ask you to use to and either then you will use these words at the end of the sentences understand all of you they will ask you to do so you will, you don't need to assume yourself that what you have to do here they will ask you the question always ask you to do something okay so don't you worry about it so b part is look at the b part all of you please look and write look where look at the picture complete the sentences with the phrases in the box so you have been given these phrases you have to use these ones in the blanks here so number 2 a scissor is a lever a seesaw dash so who will answer me who will answer me this one a scissor is a lever a seesaw dash yes arifa you answer me please unmute yourself yes ma'am Yes, answer me number two. Uh. Yes. Okay. Yes, Abigail, answer me, please. A scissors. Is a lever a seesaw? Is two. Perfect. Thank you. A scissors is a lever. A seesaw is two. So is two will you will write down over here? 
okay, is two. Okay, hammers are not screws, doorknobs dash. Yes, Iman Fatima. Um, um, ma'am, are not either. Hammers are not screws, doorknobs aren't either. Are not. Doorknobs aren't either. either. Okay. A light bulb is not a wedge, a wheelchair dash. Yes, Isa? A wheelchair isn't either. Yes. A, a wheelchair isn't either. Just wait a minute. Yes, Isa? I can't understand where either and neither comes. Okay, listen to me. Okay, fine. As I told you about two and either. Two and either concept is clear to you? It should be clear to you because yesterday I explained you, today I explained once again. So you should know that two and either are the ones. Just don't raise your hands, just wait. Two and either are the ones which we always use at the end of the sentences. Two is used for the positive statement, either is used for the negative statement, simple. But when we talk about so and neither, so is used for the positive statement, neither is used for the negative statement. But the usage is different. So and neither will be used in the middle of the two sentences. And whenever you will be using so and neither, the subject will always come at the end. Subject is the one who you talk about. You just need to understand this, okay? So let me move on to the next slide. You will be more clear when we will do that. What is the time left I need to see? 10.50 was the overtime. As you see, the time is about to be over. So when we will do this next page, let me tell you, this exercise. This exercise, when we do it, this exercise, when we will do it, then you will be clear about the concept of to and so, either and neither. This will make your concept clear. Okay, so don't worry about it. We will, when we will do this one, you will be more clear where to use so, where to use neither, and how to use it. But to and either concept is clear to you as you know that to is used for the positive statement and either is used for the negative statement. And we use both of them at the end of the sentence. So the same way likewise, so is used for the positive statement, neither is used for the negative statement. I'll show you some of the examples of these concepts like to, so, either, and neither. So you will be more clear about this concept. Okay. So that's all for today, girls. Isa. Yes, Isa. Thank you, ma'am, for telling me. Thank you. You're most welcome. Okay. Yes, Huria. Ma'am, I was saying that uh, in the uh, next lecture, will you tell me properly of either and neither? I didn't understand it properly in the next lecture. Lecture, can you uh, uh, in the on Monday? Can you tell me how to uh, do either and neither? What you don't understand about it? Just tell me. What is not understood to you? Yes, Huria. I'm asking you what you don't understand about this concept. 
I don't understand about either and either that where either is used like either is used at the end, at the start, or at the middle, like all that. I uh, I don't understand, Vita. I am explaining you this concept since yesterday that we use either and to at the end of the sentence. So just need to be clear about either and to concept. To is used for the positive sentence and either is used for the negative sentence. So when you're clear about to and either, then let's talk about so and neither. So is basically used in a positive sentence and neither is used in the negative sentence. But they both are used in the middle of the two sentences. When the first sentence ends, we use so or neither. So will be used when, we, when the sentence is positive. Neither will be used when the sentence is negative. And then we continue with the second sentence and the subject will always come at the end when we'll be using so and neither. Okay, so I will explain you tomorrow, uh, inshallah on Monday again, with the help of different examples, then you will be more clear. Okay. Yes, Isa. Ma'am, I don't have any more questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, girls, see you then, inshallah, on Monday. Take good care of yourself. Have a nice weekend. And I will see you, inshallah, on Monday. Okay? So take good care of yourself. See you then. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.